What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I have the pleasure of being on the, on, on another training call with my good buddy, my client, Rocky, um, crushing it in the credit industry in the state of Oregon and really just taking his business to the next level on social media. Today, you guys, we're, 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 we're kind of just crossing the T's and dotting our I's and making sure the whole back end for tracking is, is implemented, is in place. And this is what I truly believe, you guys, 99% of internet marketing is all about, not even just social media. Internet in as a whole, the whole entire freaking internet connection, I truly believe 99% of it is all about this when it comes to advertising. It's all about creating audiences, tracking those who are actually engaging with your content. So when you're actually running ads, people that are engaging, people that are clicking on the ad, going over to a web page, but, but may not be opting in or may not be purchasing. People that are watching your videos because you're running ads on them. People that are watching your videos, watching a percentage of your two-minute video, for example, custom or, or creating a custom audience of those of those individuals and then retargeting and showing a, another ad to right this is what it's all about is is being able to track those who are either either clicking on different parts of one's website or watching one's video online and that's what makes social media marketing that's what makes facebook advertising and marketing so freaking powerful because now the tracking is just on a whole nother level it, it, it's tracking on steroids with with the the capability and the options that we have when it comes to setting all this up um, from the from the advertiser's view. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to be walking Rocky through. Excuse me, I'm going to be rock, walking Rocky through the setup of his custom audiences. We've already have have one audience set up, which is around a video that he just launched recently. But now we're going to be setting up audiences around around a couple different of his a couple different web pages within his website, his landing page, his opt in page, and then we're also going to be setting up a custom conversion. So for any of you guys that are either trying to make sales online, whether you have a website, you're trying to drive, drive people to your website to buy uh, an actual physical product, or whether you're in the client services business or in the services business where you're looking to simply capture a lead. Right, you're, you may be a real estate agent, you may be an insurance agent, you may be a credit specialist like Rocky here, and, and you're out there putting out content, sharing value, building an audience. The whole goal there is to get them to click. The whole goal there is to prove is to provide value, get them to click, but then also track them on the back end, you guys, to retarget, 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 and retarget over and over and over. So you guys, Rocky's going to share his screen. We're going to go into, into custom conversions, and we're going to set up a couple custom audiences. So let's get started. Awesome. So here you guys were in his business manager, and that's what you want to do. So don't no longer running running ads through your ads manager no longer boosting posts you have to take it a step further and and set up your facebook business manager the business manager allows you to set up custom audiences it gives you access to your facebook pixel which is what you need on your website um to track all the activity um you're able to create custom conversions you can integrate your domain so so many different settings open up you guys when you're when you're running your business through your business manager so i have many videos on that i'll have i'll have that linked in the description but here this is your custom audience. This is what it's all about, you guys. Um, so we have one there for 15 seconds to run a one minute video that Rocky put out a, a little earlier. Now today we're going to create a couple more audiences around his landing page and his opt in page. So Rocky, right here. In fact, let me just let, let's let her, let everybody know how we even got here. Um, it's the three lines at the top. So click on those three lines to the, to the top left, Rock, and then and it's audiences. So that's how we got here, you guys. It's the three lines to the top left audiences. And now over here, as Rocky clicks on, so click away from there. So now as you click on that blue button, create audience, these are all the different sources. So custom audience, these are all the different sources that you can create an audience around. This is freaking powerful, man. Super, super powerful. The majority of uh, custom audience, Rocky, the majority of clients that I work with are, are in the service-based business, right? Where they're actually capturing leads, they're building businesses with, with, with clients one-on-one, -on -one, and, and they're really trying to scale their business on social media. And that's what Rocky is doing. Is he's now taking his whole entire business onto social media. And, and this is what it's all about is tracking. These are the different sources that Facebook allows you to track certain people, track certain audiences, right? Around a website, a customer list, all these different sources. Now, the majority of clients that I work with, again, are in the client services business where they're, where they're more after a lead, right? So in that type of a business, it's really website and video where you'll create most of your audiences around. Now, every now and then, or every, every so, so many of you, <coughs> excuse me, will have a customer list. 
if you're if you're if you're selling you know products on a website you might have a list of your past customers right everyone that purchased a cap everyone that purchased a hoodie whatever everyone who put, purchased you know a, a shaker right whatever a cell phone case whatever right you might have a list of of, of customers you could take that list upload it to facebook create a customer list and and retarget that list like how powerful is that or if that's a customer list i could upload that list and exclude them from seeing future ads because it's an audience, right? So I'm, I'm now taking this data, creating a customer list, an audience, which I can either retarget and include in future targeting, or I can exclude. But again, kind of play with these different ones. But if, if you're like most of my clients, like service-based businesses, again, it's website and video. So today we're going to be doing website. We're going to be doing website. So click on website, and then we're going to go next. So now over here, all we want to do is just make sure that that dot right there is green. So that's our, our active pixel. So we're not going to touch that. Um, the events, go ahead and click on that drop down. All website visitors, click on that one. And we're going to come down to specific. So again, you guys, picture audiences as, as buckets. Click on the second one, Rocky. People who visit specific web pages. Think of these custom audiences, you guys, as buckets, right? One, one group of people clicked on the red handbag. The other group of, group of people clicked on the blue handbag. This group of people clicked on the, on the burgundy color ball cap SD. The other group of people clicked on the black hoodie, right? These are simply buckets, and, and, and every single bucket is a link, right? So when you look at a website, when you go to any website online, click on anything. Look at the link at the top. Right, that link changes right here. That whole entire dot com business dot facebook dot com forward slash ads manager forward slash audiences. You see that huge long link at the top, Rock. Yes. That that huge dot com. Yes, yes. Every little piece of the of the of the pie that we could possibly click on, that link will change. So every little piece of a website, when you're clicking on any website, it doesn't matter your website, their website, whose website doesn't doesn't matter. Click on a website. Every little button, it, the the link is unique to that to that to that you know specific specific button, for example, and that that gives you the ability to create to build these buckets to create these audiences of individuals that are either engaging or not, and that's powerful, you guys, when it comes to the targeting and just the capability that you have as an advertiser. Um, that's why Facebook and Instagram continue to, to 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 dominate because of these of these these specific targeting aspects of, of the platform is super powerful, super powerful. So here, all we want to do here, Rocky is now actually there's two links that we're going to grab, but let's start, grab, let's start with, with the landing page, go to your landing page link, your tab that's open there at the top. And all we're going to do is we're going to simply, and if that zoom menu is in your way, go ahead and click and drag it out your way. You could drag that, that zoom thing out your way, but, but that's the thank you page. The one on the left is your landing page, right? So you have these two pages, you have your landing page, you have your thank you page, go to your landing page, Rocky. Now, all you're going to do here is at the top, the the, the domain, the do, the uh, demand good credit, double click it, double click it. So you open up the whole thing, double click. Okay. All you need is the domain. You don't need the www. You don't need the HTTPS. So just copy, copy everything. Um, no, you don't need the www. Rock. So just the domain. Okay, perfect. So copy that part right there. And now we're going to bring that over. So let's bring that. Let's go back to, to the, to the business settings, to the ads manager. Um, and we're going to simply paste it in right here at the bottom, at least one of these of these values right there um, at the top, a little higher, Rocky, at least one of these values, paste it in that box right there up. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, and then hit the blue, go ahead and, and hit the drop down. Okay, cool. So you're good. So now this is an audience of people who have landed on this, on this first page. Now we're going to be very specific here. Okay. We're going to, we're going to narrow it, narrow it in even further. These are people who only landed on that page, right? They never opted in. They never landed on the thank you page. Now, why is this so important and why is this so necessary for, for one's marketing? Is because just like you and I were speaking earlier, Rocky, when it comes to your landing page, yeah, you're going to test it. You're going to tweak it. You're going to change a headline. You're going you're gonna to change the color of a button. You're going to do minor tweaks here and there to, to, to continue to split test that landing page. But but regardless of, of, of how it looks or how pretty it is or is not, it doesn't matter. There's still a percentage of people that will click on an ad, come over to a page and not opt in, right? And and, and, and for whatever reason, that's, that's totally fine. That's a bounce rate. It's totally common no matter what the offer is. You have that percentage of people that actually leave, right? But now in this case, I can actually put them in a bucket. 
I can actually categorize them. I can actually put them in this custom audience and show them another ad. That right there, you guys, is what it's all about. That's it, is retargeting, retargeting. That's why, that's why one will preach content, 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 post every day, post every day, post on freaking 27 different platforms every day. Some teach and preach that you do that, right? Because that, what is, what, what is that really at the end of the day? It's freaking them. It, it, it's it's nonstop traffic, right? Because because you have to nonstop get in front of your audience. That's what that means, and that's what that is. That's why a Grant Cardone or a Gary Vaynerchuk, like these people, just pump out content every day. They're putting out a new video on something every day, every day. That's organic. That's organic, right? Because you have to continue to get in front of your of of your audience, no matter what. That's organic. When you run the ad. When you run the ad, this is what I truly believe. This is this is where I truly believe most people drop the ball is they'll run an ad and never really have success. They'll run an ad and never really have success because every time they run an ad, they're simply running it to a new audience. Of, and that's an audience that never seen it before. You have to retarget. You have to retarget this audience, right? These are people who have landed on the homepage, but did not opt in. And here's what, how we do that. Here's how we narrow it in even further. Click on exclude people. So exclude people and then scroll down. And then the 30 at the top, change that. We want to change the 30, max that out at 180. Turn the, the retention, yeah, turn, turn that to 180. 180 is the max. So for the past, or, or yeah, for, oh, so yeah, so the, how, how do I word this? Yeah, just put 180. But um, the way I want to word it is Facebook will keep people in this group for 180 days, right? So if I clicked on your ad and I went over to your landing page, the homepage, and I, and, and, but I didn't opt in and, and that was 97 days ago, I would be in that audience. Okay, so so Facebook will keep it up to 180. Now, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna again, this is specific. So what I want to do now is is yeah, create an audience of those who land on the homepage but never opted in, meaning they never landed on the thank you page. And here's how we do it. We scroll down and there's the green pixel. So we're good there. The events change the events, and we're gonna go specific again. All website visitors come down to specific, and then um Yep, specific. Change the 30 to 180. And then the link there at the bottom, the value, now all you're going to do is grab your thank you page. So grab your thank you page, hit the tab at, up at the top, double click it, copy everything ex except for the www. Perfect. So, so this right here. So we're telling Facebook, this is a bucket. This is an audience of people who have landed on the first page, but never landed on the thank you page, never landed on the set on the second page, paste it in there and then scroll down, hit the blue, scroll down and give it a name. And this, this name is very, very simple. This name is, 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 is landing page visitors, landing page visitors. And then in parentheses, I would put only landing page visitors only, right? They, they only landed on the page. They never opted in. Right. So, so this would be an audience, man. This would be an audience that you'll always want to retarget from this point on every ad create audience, hit the blue one. Every ad from this point on needs, well, not, not your first ad because you know, this next first ad that you run is, 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 is going to be ran to build the audience, right? You don't have the audience yet. Right. So hit done, hit done. And so, and so now I would retarget that audience, for example, on ad number three. Right. Or, or let's just call it, let's let's call it the intro video. That was ad number one. And then ad number two is going to be the first ad to the landing page. So now ad number two, I'm building that audience, building that audience, building that audience. And then, yeah, number three, ad number three, that's when I'm going to continue to target my local area. Right. I'm going to continue to target Eugene and just penetrate the hell out of that area and just and just target it. And, and, and I'm also going to retarget my landing page visitors only. Because these are people that have seen my ad before. They have landed on my page. They just haven't opted in, right? And, and, and so ad number three, ad number four, ad number five, ad number 15, I'm going to always retarget that audience. So, so people are going to continue to see me. So that's the ad side. So again, the organic side, pump content out every freaking day until your nose bleeds or run a freaking ad and just run an ad and get straight to the point. And let me target that area by tonight. And let me target 50,000 of them by tonight. Like I don't, you know, so, so again, it's, it's pick your poison. You guys, either you're going to be a Gary Vaynerchuk and just pump out content daily organically and attract people from all over the damn place. Or if you're really in business, you should have an avatar. You should have a 
target area. You should have a demographics. You should know exactly what your client looks like and 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 and, and the age group, right? All of these little little um, aspects of our dream client. You know, so so if if you can break down your dream client age group, you know, profession, whatever. If you can break it down, run an ad, run an ad, run an ad, and just target and create these audiences, man. Create audiences around people that are watching your videos. If I were you, I'd be putting out video ads, video ads, video ads, and and just simply creating audiences of those who are watching the videos, fifteen seconds, for example, and then and then just simply creating audiences around people that are landing on my page, but but may may not be opting in. And and then and then now let's do our next audience. Let's do one more audience. This is going to be um, create audience. So we're going to do it again. Create audience and then go custom audience. Now now what we want to do now we're going to stay with, with website and also with lead form. You guys, let's say over here we're creating audiences around his landing page. Some of you guys don't don't even have a landing page. So so if you don't have a landing page, I've been using Kartra since 2018. Um, for for all of my online stuff, there's there's a fourteen day trial in the, in the in the description. Try it out, and I'll help you with all this stuff. But my point is, is that um, damn, where was I going with that? Where was I going with that, Rock? Um, let me let me let me charge my freaking um damn laptop. But I forgot where I was going with that. But um, what are they saying? Um, um, not everybody has a landing page. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Not everyone has a landing page. So if you if you don't play around with a 14 day trial, there's a link in the in the description. But if you don't have a landing page and you're like David, I'm anti landing page. Okay, cool. You can still benefit. You could still just run lead form ads. And let's say, for example, you're still in the client services business where you're you're still capturing leads. You're servicing people, so you need leads, right? It's all about leads. You can simply run ads on lead forms. You can run lead form ads and create these audiences around your lead form ads. So that's another thing that Rocky and I will be testing. We'll be testing ads, lead ads to the landing page. And I also want to play around and test some lead ads to the lead form. And so when we're running ads to the lead form, yeah, we can create audiences around that as well. So, so here, Rock, let's stay with website. We're going to go website. Um and then all we're going to do here, which I, I'm pretty sure you still have it um, copied, we're going to and go next, go next. We're going to simply create an audience around the thank you page. So events, that's all you're changing is events going down a specific. Okay. So we're going to change the data at all? Just... Yeah. The retention, that's, that's yeah. So start with events, events, come down a specific. That's how you're going to do all your audiences, man. It's this simple. Okay. So, so it's this, it's this simple. So retention, change that out, go 180. And then all you're going to do is paste in the link below. So paste that link in. And this is, and then now we'll scroll down. No one to exclude. We don't need to exclude anyone. And, and we'll we'll give it a name. And this is leads, PDF leads, um, credit PDF download leads, whatever, like whatever you want to name that, like um, whatever is going to help you remember or know is what. Is description or audience name? Audience name, audience Perfect. name. So name it. Um, they landed on that. Did they land on a landing page, correct? Yeah, these are people who landed on the thank you page. So- PDF thank you page, PDF thank you page, PDF thank you page, and then in parentheses leads. And so now here, now, 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 as we start to run ads and capture leads, right? Now this audience will start to build. People who have opted in will, will now will now land in this audience. Hit the blue one, um, create audience, and then close this out right here. So so now hit done. Now, as you move forward, what you'll want to do as well, let's call it ad number three and on. As you start to capture leads, let's say you captured a few leads on ad on ad number two. Now, ad number three, you're you're getting mo mo more momentum and you're 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 spending a little bit more, and maybe you're capturing even more leads. By ad number four, you you want to for sure be excluding that audience. Ad number four and on, you want to exclude your lead audience. Right, because you don't want people to continue to see your ad that have already opted in. Right. So, and if you're selling something, you don't want to keep trying to sell something to somebody if they've already purchased. So, so, so that right there, if you're if you're pushing products, physical products, that lead audience would simply be a customer audience, you know, and and it could, and it could be super specific. This audience bought the red handbag. This audience bought the blue hat. This audience bought the, bought, bought the red shoes. I can literally categorize this and split this up in so many different ways. And it's so freaking powerful to the advertiser. That's all I'm saying um, is that you can now tailor your messages to, to certain audiences. Um, 
that who've engaged with your stuff, man. Super, super powerful. So that's audiences. Those are the two audiences that I wanted to create the landing page um, audience and then the thank you page audience. Now, what we want to do here, what we want to do here. In fact, you know what? That's where I'm going to end it. This is custom audiences around the two most important pages. On the, and then on the next video, we'll create a custom conversion. So any questions on that whatsoever, um, Rock? No, I'm just trying to uh, trying to put everything in the focus where you talk about the, you know, identifying each individual and kind of break into like buckets. So, so the ones who actually go to the thank you page, those are leads. But next time I set them up, it'd be actually people who have gone past the leads or actually gone past the thank you page or basically have had um, success and set up a appointment or something like that. So that's basically my next few ads after that is kind of pinpointing each individual where they went in their stages. No, is it no? Is it so? Click on your three lines. Go to your go to your ads manager. Let me show you where these audiences are now at. So click the three lines. Okay. Go to ads manager, or you can always go to your bookmarks, right? Ads manager, and let's say for example you're going in and 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 you're going to now run your next ad. Let's say we're on ad number three. We've already captured some leads, and 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 now we're just we're we're scaling up. Okay. Hit the green. Hit the green. Um, create ad. So you'll see the green button here. Pull up. Yeah. Create. And then let's just go here. Let's just go. Let's just go lead. So click on lead. This is the objective. Okay. And we'll go. We'll go lead. And this could be anything. You could choose anything here, and it's the same thing. Hit continue. As as far as what I'm going to show you, it's it's the same. Uh, we'll still be able to get to it. The custom audiences. So so hit yeah hit hit the blue one. And then as we come over here to the special ad category. Um, hit the category. So if you're in housing, if you're in employment or or credit, always hit the drop down. Go with credit, and then next. So over here on this is the campaign level. Now as we go to 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 level two, which is the ad set level, click next. As you go to the ad set level, this is where you can now include or exclude your audiences. Okay, so so now you have that ability. Now you have these audiences that are starting to build. Um, this is not something you need to micromanage at all. All you do is set up your audiences. It's super basic. Like your video, create an audience. Your website, create an audience. That's all we did right here. So now, now I have these audiences. Now, because you haven't ran many ads, there's not many people in these audiences, right? right. So, so as you start to run ads and get traffic to these audiences, that's when Facebook's going to start collecting all these people in these audiences. And then, yeah, as you move forward and ad number four, ad number five, ad number six, you're going to be retargeting these audiences or excluding these audiences from seeing ads. Okay, and this is where you do it. So scroll down. As you scroll down, you'll see your custom audiences. A um, little further, right here. So, so these are. This is where I can. I can again. I can include them or I can exclude them. Okay. Right. So if I search existing audiences, click in there, let's call this ad number three. And so now we're well on our way. Um, we're going to include, we're going to include landing page visitors only. I want to retarget those people because on the last two ads, you know, we got a ton of people to the page, but, but we may not have cop captured a ton of leads, but I know a ton of people hit the page. Let's retarget them. That's my audience. Okay. And then the intro video. Let's also retarget those who have watched 15 seconds of your one minute video. Let's also retarget them. Now, let's most importantly scroll. So get click away. So let's scroll down a little bit. Yes. Most importantly, now click away, click away. So you can get rid of that drop down. Yes, there you go. So most importantly, not only are we going to retarget those those two, but now we want to exclude. Now we want to also exclude. So click exclude. We want to exclude our leads. So as you click inside the box, search existing audiences, you can exclude that audience, right? So, so let's say you're on ad number seven and you've already captured a good amount of leads, start excluding them. You don't need to show your ads to people that have already opted in. So click on it. Thank you. Thank you page leads. There's your audience. So just click on this one here, the landing page or the thank you. Actually, this is the ones we're excluding. So be 